Well, hello, this is Jimonism Turtle on the channel here, and we are back into Star Maid. I want to show you the latest addition to Pandora Haven City, and let's get into it. Mainly, what I have built is I have built a stallwerk. Yes, we have built the stallwerk. It's, um, oh god, how do we call it? Ooh. Um, is it say Tetsujo? Did I write the sign here? Why there is no sign here? Uh, anyways, as you clearly can see from this text here, I'm just kidding. This is a this is a, a, a steel manufacturing facility. <clears throat> it's written in uh, you know Jimonism Heavy Industries steel basically. But we opt for uh, Swedish and Japanese in this city uh, and English. Never mind. <laughs> <coughs> so, anyways, uh, let's get into it. This is basically the entrance kind of thing. Uh, this is a fully automated AI controlled facility. Um, this is uh, the band. This is not a door, okay? This is the band where we dump the. Uh, ores on or, or scrap uh, things and they all go down here into this little box here this box is the feeder of the oven um, up here we also have blocks of coal stored so we can add the right amount of coal to the steel I'm sure there are some uh, fancy uh, other uh, additions not only coal like some um, I don't know uh, tungsten or something uh, to make a modern uh, steel alloy or something. Here you can see the induction heaters. Um, they are down there. Heating induction. We have some ventilation and we also have outlet for vapor. Um, mainly with water vapor that can be present in some of the ores. For more dangerous scraps, we have an outlet here, uh, which basically dumps some particles into space, which is nice. Um, here we have the hot little uh, tube that pours the molten metal into uh, these cradles. These cradles are... Uh, is it is it called what I wait? No, not uh, I'm saying the wrong word. Um, okay, it's called diagel in Swedish at least. Uh, so we'll use that. It's pouring this molten metal into uh, the diagel, and uh, the diagel is uh, very <clears throat> isolated, so it keeps the heat. Uh, and it's also um, a bit self-heated so we can keep it uh, molten. And we have rails on the sides of the wall here to move around everything. And here we can see we have four uh, Deaglar waiting uh, to be used. Uh, this one, uh, we have one Deagle here on this arm, um, this mechanical arm which is uh, pouring it out. Of course this uh, diagel is uh, motorized so it can turn by itself. And it pours out the molten steel uh, into this uh, ceramic form here. So you can see here. Uh, and we have a double type solution, so um, it first makes uh, one, put it down here and you can see it's still glowing hot, but it's uh, slowly uh, cooling off. When it's been cooled off, um, uh, we have them picked up by mechanical arms here um, and let them cool off. You can see they're still glowing hot, but basically cooled. Um, and finally when they're cool um, we move down to this part here where they're turned upside down and put into this uh, temporary storage place um, 
the ingots, the new steel ingots are drawn out of the form by using this electromagnetic element down here. So I may not have, uh, you know, thought out uh, exactly there is possible that there would be collisions when this part moves, but they're actually stationary. But I still think I got, uh, you know, pretty comprehensive, um, simple outline of something that could resemble a steel factory in the future. So I hope you enjoy this little design. Uh, here we have the servers in AI Central where you can access it by a service pod and check out that the systems are running fine. Other than that, I guess it's basically just, you know, uh, this is also... Basically pick one of those up and replace it by a new one and uh, take the steel to uh, export section or manufacturing section. So that's the uh, that's the uh, steel manufacturing facility, <clears throat> and uh, you know um, I showed you in the 5,000 subscribers special video a uh, lots of new things uh, that have been added. Um, but uh, other than that, we have made some more vehicles than last time. Uh, a few more circling around in the sky now. What also has been added, we added white lines to the outer uh, bottom shield a bit. Um, and also now this would be rotating in two parts. The outer part should be rotating the other way eventually, I think. But right now I just made a centerpiece rotate instead and this is of course the 5000 subscribers celebration monument if you haven't seen the 5000 subscriber video i recommend you to check it out other than that um yeah we have been uh, we had added this little sign that rotates around the city as well which says p h c which is basically pandora haven city we also added a lot of um, housing modules um, here and there from the new template we made, as you've seen, and uh, some lights, uh, basically living settlements with some weird floor windows, basically. Um, you know, lots of people living in the city and uh, some rooms are really, really small. You know, I think, you know, I, sh I showed the other new stuff in the 50k subscribers special video. So I think that's basically uh, that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little video and uh, definitely keep tuning in for the next video. So, you know, this is uh, early morning, Jim Desm. Haven't slept the entire night. Woohoo! Anyways, uh, see you next time. This is Jim Desm, Total Nerdy Channel, signing out.